What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are back on Marwell Manor. Oh yeah. And we've got the new Deutz. Oh, it looks so good. I love this thing. Got those huge, huge tires on here. I love it. Problem is, we've got these forky things on here. And we don't need the forky things. We need a bucket. So we're going to get us a bucket. And with the bucket, we're going to get a few more things. Because we are going to buy the other farm. I know, I know, I know. Let's sell that. Bam, get out of there. Let's get this kind of out of the way-ish. And then we are going to pick up. We good? We good? We good? Yeah, we're good. Let's back it up into here. Nice. So we want a bucket. Let's go to front loaders. So let's see what we've got in here. So we've got the bio belts front loader bucket, which I think might be what we're going for here. We've got the fork with grapple, 1500. The bio belts is 1780. Uh, yep, I think that's it. This is the one purchase. Yes, please. Thank you very much. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Bring it down and pick it up. Now it is, uh, it is kind of off, off colored a little bit, but it doesn't matter to me. I want that capacity, that high, high capacity, and the fact that it will work. That's what I really, really want. Now, what else do we need? Because we're going to be doing chickens, and we are going to be doing pigs. So we need pig food, and we also need things like wheat, which we already have some wheat. Funny enough, let's go in here. I've been holding on to about 12,000 liters. I don't know where to put it, nothing to do with it. And we've still got it, which is great. So we got that, nothing to worry about there. However, we still need to think things about water, for example. Now the water, a little different there because we don't actually need to get a big water thing. We already have a large water trans. So I'm not gonna worry about that. We also have plenty of straw. So I'm not gonna worry about anything having to do with straw because we're gonna be doing loose straw. So that stuff's good, we don't need that. I think, to be honest with you, we just need to get over there. Of course, we need pig food and stuff like that. We need stuff to put that in. Uh, let's see here. Let's get us let's get us a little baby tipper. So we have the trans space. Let's go through see if there's anything. So we, this was a new mod that we just got recently. The TSM33L on the far left-hand corner of your screen. I don't know if I want that, though. See, we've got this, which is really nice, the Flegel. Now we could go with that bright green, capacity of 18,600, which is pretty decent. And we could throw on some nice tires on here too. You know what? I think that might be, that might be it right there. What do you guys think about that? Take a look at it, what you think? Another one that I'm contemplating is the Bandit. However, the Bandit, is way more expensive and it holds a well holds in this configuration 28,400 so i'm thinking maybe this flegal is the best way to go now the only other option would be go with this agro liner which i'm just not feeling so let's grab flegal let's change that color bring capacity up and it is now ours Ooh, that green is a lot more green than i thought it was going to be Ooh, that is bright um, you know what? Let's keep it. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Is that it? Is this everything we need? I think so. We just really need a container to put things in. How about this? Let's run over. Let's grab all of the wheat that we have. And then let's take it over there and get us some pigs and chickens. Rolling in nice and easy now. Nice and easy. So what we've got is we've got wheat in the back. I've already queued up some pig food and water ready to go for everybody. First things first, chickens, because chickens are the easiest. I gotta do is just give them some food. That's it. That's all they want, man. That's all they want. We're gonna get some chickens. I'm not sure how many chickens we're gonna get. We are gonna get one rooster. I know we can hold 500. I know that. I'm thinking maybe we'll spend uh, something like 10 grand, something like that on 
on uh, chickens. I'm not even sure we'll be able to spend that much or not, but we're going to get about five, yeah, $10,000 worth of chickens. Now that's 10000 after the fee, my price. Yeah, it's interesting that they charge you $15 per chicken, and yet they don't even allow you to move your own chickens. How? I mean, really? <laughs> I can't can't really get behind supporting that. I mean, look at that. $7,700 in chickens, $2,300 to deliver them. And I don't have a choice. Confirm. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? So we've got one rooster and we've got 153 black chickens. And they are probably everywhere. Hey, there's a rooster. Nice. Let's back this in. I don't think they're going to take a whole lot. But I'm sure it'll be enough. Let's see. Let's back in just a little bit. At least get it to it. Uh, they're taking a little bit more than I thought they were going to. Holy cow! They've taken half of it already. Um, are they just going to... There we go. Okay. So they are good. Cleanliness is the only thing we have to worry about with those guys. So let's take this. Ooh, we missing it? Yeah, somebody was asking about the turning radius on this guy. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's bring this over, and we're going to dump it in. Because that's a great thing. We have our own silo here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I bought the land yet. Did I not buy the land yet? Are you kidding? Did I not do it? No, I didn't buy the land yet. We can still use it, but we're going to go ahead and buy the land anyway. Just to be official and all that good stuff. So there you go. There is our area over here. I wonder, what is in here? Is there anything in other than just the wheat that we just put in? No. That is it. Just the wheat. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's take this, park it up. We are going to swing this back around. And let's see. We do need straw. So we're going to take this probably and go fill this back up with straw. So let's just leave it here for now. We have a semi-truck that we are going to get our water from. And since there's uh, some issues with milk on here, we're just going to fill up with water. Now the water is going to be in this tank right here. So we just got to get up close to it. And it will start filling. So you don't have to worry. Now for pigs, while it's filling up, let's jump over here. And will this open? I assume that it would. Yep, it will. <laughs> and we jump one thing, don't jump the other. We don't have to get in here. So there's no point for us to try to get in there. But we are going to get some little baby piggies. And let's go for some black pigs. Or uh, white pigs with the little spots all over them. Oh, yeah. Why don't we get a little black piggy? Yeah, let's get a little black piggies. We got black chickens. Let's go with little black piggies. And as far as these go, I don't know how many I want to buy. Let's see, 53,000. Somewhere around there. 54,000. How about that? Confirm. How many pigs is that even? I didn't even know. 36 pigs. We might as well buy four more. We'll buy four more. One, two, three, four. Confirm. Now we've got 40 pigs. 40 pigs, 53 chickens. We go sell three of those chickens. But neither here nor there. So the piggies are good. They need water, straw, and pig food. Now, pig food is exactly what they will be getting. I will not be giving them anything else. Um, my... Wow, this thing is taking forever to fill up. Let's just let it fill up while it, let it do its thing. Let's back this in. We've got a whole lot of pig food here, and I mean it. This is a lot of pig food. 59,000 liters of pig food, to be exact. Back this in. It wasn't cheap. I'll say that. And let's give it to them. I hope that they use every bit of it. Because I really don't want to leave this sitting here the whole time. Uh, one of these fields will be ours. We will be buying one of these fields. Probably the smaller of the fields. There we go. Pigs are good. How much? Oh, that's plenty of food to last a long, long time. Perfect there. It's going to unfold back. Yeah, there we go. And let's get this dropped off. We need to give the pigs the water. We can give them food, give them water, straw. Well, we can we can go get some straw and bring it back over here. As a matter of fact, we may take the big tipper right there. That's what we may do. Back this up, back it in. 
Probably not full yet. Doesn't matter. We're going to take it anyway. 32,000 liters, I believe this is what this holds. And here we go. Now you will see down the bottom left hand corner says days till payment three. Oh, we still have three days. So we're still in the next to last day. Now, of course, as soon as we finish this, we will move on to the next day. Maybe try and get some stuff planted, but probably going to do that tomorrow. It is getting a little bit later in the day. Let's see if we can back this without hitting anything. Go ahead and dump the water. How much are they going to take? <laughs> Not a lot. So I overdid it a bit with the water. That's okay. We've still got plenty. You know what the good thing is? Let's take a look at water. How's everybody doing on water? See, we could take the rest of this over to the farm and give it to the rest of the cows that are over there. How oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So let's go do it. Let's take this over. Let's give everybody over there some water. Also, I found a little shortcut. Now, this is kind of tough, but if you guys like shortcuts, this is for you. So quick way to get from there back to the main farm. Now, there are a couple ways that you can go. I have been using this way. So you fly through there, go like that. Now, this is the hard part right here. If you have a trailer, it's a little easier. Go full speed and you will kind of bounce across the water over there. One thing that I think you can do, I don't, I need to find this out for sure. We would have to cheat a whole lot of money in just to uncheat it in. But I would like to make like a pathway from there over. I think that would be cool. And kind of, you know, make our own bridge across the road and everything. And I know a lot of people have done bridge videos and this and that. And I'm not trying to do anything like that. I mean, they're, they're, some of them are quite cheesy and I'm not trying to be like that. But unless I think it would be cool to build something or just bump the bump the ground up at least so that we can have a quicker way to get from this farm to the other farm nonetheless let's go through here and let's go ahead and give our cows some more water see if we can get through here can we no bam stopped all right fair enough fair enough Give them some water and let's get the straw over to the pigs. How much straw are we talking for the little baby piggies? Got to find out. Let's see. What do we got here? Look at the pigs. Straw. Oh, they're not going to take half of this, are they? Eh, no, they'll take about half of it. But they're not going to take it all. We're going to have some straw left over for sure. There's nothing wrong with that, is what it is right there it is there you go 6587 liters left of straw so we can take this and we can put this away this whole setup right here we could take this and put it away actually we could probably sell the straw if we wanted to but eh, not really wanting to at this point however if we did want to the straw sell point is right here in front of us so let's take this and back it in ever so nicely there you go. Perfect. And then we'll just take this and pull it straight in here. Bam. Now we have an entire chicken farm. All the fixings with the little baby piggies. Chicken and bacon, man. Chicken and bacon. Yeah. It's a <laughs> I may have blocked traffic. Traffic sucks. Let's take this. <laughs> put this away. Gosh. Oh, man. We got to get us a tractor, bring it over here, because we have got to get that field done. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what our pricing is going to be. 196,000, and we have 289. So we're looking at about a hundred grand when it's all left, said, and done. But that is going to be our wheat and barley field. I'm thinking first time around, we'll do wheat, second time, we'll do barley. And we'll just alternate every time. Alternate every time. So we're getting straw. We're getting wheat. We're getting barley. So we can feed our chickens and be just fine. Just fine indeed. That's what I like. So let's pull this guy in here. When did that open? Pull this in here. Drop it off. And we want... Do we want this? Or do we want the JCB? JCB's already on it. How about we take the JCB? Oh, yeah. Are we full? 
Almost. We're full of seed. We need some fertilizer. So we're going to fly by and get some fertilizer. One thing I've done is I have gotten rid of the cultivators we had and I've gotten rid of the, was it the cedar plants or whatever you want to get? The, the one that does corn. <laughs> I've gotten rid of it completely. I had nothing but problems. I couldn't, I physically could not afford to hang on to it because it was a constant, like, uh, well, I just couldn't put seed in it first off, which was really weird. At least I couldn't put seed in it from over there, which was really, really, <laughs> I don't want to be like, man, it was bumming me out, but it was, it really was bumming me out. And so we've got this instead, just the one, oh, <laughs> flipped. We've got the one, the one cedar planter, this guy right here at the Amazon, the condor, my favorite. Yes, it is. Anybody ask for my favorite? This is it. Takes the least amount of horsepower, has the greatest range. It's nice. I like it. Here's another quick uh, little little trick for you. So kind of look, make sure there's nobody coming, but you can fly onto the road from right there full speed if you really wanted to. There you go. Got a little tips and tricks from DJ today. So I know they're a little cheaty. I know they're, they're little areas where you're like, I mean, you're not supposed to do that. It's not realistic. But anyone who knows the channel knows that, yes, though we have fun, that we get out here and do it to it, it's not 100% realistic all the time. Let's purchase that. Boom, baby. We've got 89,000. Let's put... Wait, wait, wheat? Yeah. Let's put some wheat in the ground. Couple housekeeping things around our sheep and cows certainly could use a little bit extra food. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put about 10,000 liters of hay in here. We're gonna just spread it out. Spread it out as much as we can. I think the sheep spit out grass. I need to go back and double check that, but I do believe that is the case. Straw, hay, there we go. I said about 10,000 liters, something like that, and we'll split it between the two. Nine, ten. Perfect. But if they spit out anything other than hay, if they spit out grass, uh, I don't know. Because this will not take grass. No matter how much you try and force it, this Stroutman will not take grass. Let's just pop over here and see. I think it is grass that they, they off-put. Yep, that's definitely grass down there. So we need to get in a Bucket, 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 bucket. Yes, yes, yes. Get to clean these up. Least I checked is like eight that or not eight thousand eighty five percent. I believe it was cleanliness. Here we go. And back this up, nice and easy. Sweet. And we're gonna take my little shortcut over here, right into the sheep area. See what I love having a tele handler doing animals. If you guys do animals. What is the one vehicle that you use in game that is just irreplaceable? You have to have it. You want to have it. So I've used a telehandler ever since I believe it was Lone Oak. And every map that I've had animals, I have at least attempted to have this. Yeah, I believe that's actually I don't know. That may be hay. Is that hay? I really need to learn my symbols. Boop 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 boop. No, that's definitely grass. 100%. This is grass. Dump it out. Really? Really? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Did you guys see that? It just dumped it out right in front of it. Didn't even, didn't even take it. Serious. Oh my gosh. So I gotta get in here, try and get all this cleaned up. And it's spitting more out on the floor. Oh my gosh. Come on. Here we go. So note to self, do not flip that on the other side. Holy cow, did you guys see that? Oh my god, I can't believe that. So let's go here. Maybe? Yeah? Yeah, that, that seemed to work okay. So let's drop that, leave it where it is, hop in the Stroutman. And get about right here, wait till we get an unload. Do we have an unload? We do not. Probably because it is set to kick out on this side. So let's see if we can back in. I am going to attempt to use this since we only have hay in here. Let's see what we can do. Back it up. Can this even be used to feed? Yes, it can. Okay, I like seeing that. Let's go take a look at the sheep. And the food is going up. I like seeing that. Now, our cows looks like uh, they're probably spitting out silage. I wonder if we can mix the two together by sipping it up. Yo, we're about to find out regardless. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where is it? There's some. Oh, unfold it. Turn it on. Drop it all the way down. And suck it up. Now that should and has turned it to TMR. Mind you, not a whole lot of TMR. But enough. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So, looks like you know, we could probably use this for straw too, huh? Do they need straw? Eh, not a whole lot. But I bet we could use this for straw too. We don't even have to take a bucket up there. Let's see. Will it let us? There we go. We can unload the straw and it tops off the straw category how's about that that's cool i love it well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like and all right please subscribe if you learned a thing or two let me know down in the comments section what was one thing that we did today that you didn't know about maybe there's something that you do that i don't know about drop down in the comments section too if there's something that you do that you're like i don't i don't think anybody else knows this drop down in the comment section i want to hear it share the love with the world Let's get everybody rocking on the same page. Turn these darn lights off. <laughs> oh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.